What's up? I'm back. So in today's video, we are eating on some sausage, cucumber and rice with some dame dash dipping sauce. So I haven't had this meal in a while, so I'm so excited. So I'm not gonna talk too much. I'm gonna dig in and then we'll get to talking. Let's get to eating. So I'm just gonna pour some sauce on my rice. Oh, this gonna be good. I know that for sure. Ooh. Ooh. So, what you do is that you take a sausage, some rice, dip it in some sauce. Mmm. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Mm. This was much better than the first time. Oh my god. This is some um, beef sausages. And they are not burnt. I just like them that way. So. Some rice. Uh, sausage, dip it in sauce, get some of the onion on there, and dig in. Mm -mm -mm. This is so good. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Mm, 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 mm. This sauce I made a long time ago, but I freezed it, so I just reheated it and I put some onions in there and it was ready to go. Mm. I don't think y'all understand how good this is. So, if you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're here, thank you for stepping by. I'm so thankful and glad that you're here. So don't forget to subscribe and become a part of the family. Hey! So, some rice. A sausage, dip it in sauce. Ooh, I need to show you this. And dig in. Mm. Mm mm mm. Mm hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Today, yes, yes. I want the onions on there because I love onions. Wow. So, how y'all been doing? Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know in the comments down below. Hey, let me know in the comments down below. Hey, let me know in the comments down below. Yay, get a sausage 
get some rice put the sausage on the rice and dip it in the sauce in the sauce yeah in the sauce yeah finger looking good Let's go. This was a 10 out of 10 for sure for sure so I'm gonna pour some drink I have some sparkling water this is pear and apple uh oh don't do it be a good girl It was really good. So, how do you like my makeup today? I know um, it's not like uh, I usually do, but um, I was feeling lazy today, so I just went with a simple look. This sauce is big, so I'm gonna bite it in half. I was supposed to bring my one time spicy sauce, but I just remembered that I forgot it. Almost wrapped it, almost. If you haven't tried this combination, you're missing out. It's so simple to make. You just buy cucumbers. This is some mini cucumbers, but they're pretty thick. You buy whatever sausage that you like, and some. This is some jasmine rice. You can use uh, whatever rice you want. If, even if you don't want to use rice, you can use bulgur or cauliflower rice or whatever. I don't even know what kind of <laughs> rices there are out there, but this is just some jasmine rice that I use. So. I definitely recommend you trying this out. It's really good. The first time I told my fiance about this, he was like, that sounds like a weird combination. And I just told him, have patience, taste it, and you'll see. So I made it and he tasted it. The, it was uh, at the same time that I recorded it. Um, it was the first time for both of us. But, you know, I'm like a psychic. So I know when a food will be good. 
and I knew this would be good and it was. So that day we both tried it and it was super delicious. Um, so I thought why not recreate the video. Mm. It's one of my older videos. <coughs> I had a um, yellow hoodie on and I didn't have my my ring lights back then um, so the quality on that video isn't that great so this food definitely deserves a second round so today I'm using my wooden spoon uh, I like this. Uh, it's the also I got a fork uh, from the same set, and I use that in my I think Burger King or McDonald's video, or maybe both. Um, but the thing is that the fork doesn't really like pick up the food. I don't know. It's hard to eat with, so I did order me a new one. Uh, they are a bit darker brown like brown reddish uh color so i'm excited to get those i don't know when they arrive but i'm excited but meanwhile i'm using this one This sauce is really good by itself with the cucumber, so I also like um, paprika with this. It's really good. <coughs> so, how do you guys feel about the um, coronavirus? Yes, I'm bringing it up because <laughs> I want to know. Like, do you go to the store and stock a lot of food or toilet paper? Please let me know if you do. And also let me know why you do it. Um, and also, I want to know what makes you so scared of the coronavirus. Me and my fiance, we were um, going to buy some grocery and we come to the store and all the pasta is gone, all the flour is gone, most of the sugar <coughs> is gone, all the toilet paper and the household paper is gone. And we're like, what the hell is happening? And why do people buy all this stuff? Like, like they would be like isolated for weeks. Like, I don't really understand. What will toilet paper and household paper, how will that help you if you got the coronavirus? And how will it prevent you from get it, getting it? Mm -mm. I feel like that's too much. I really do. I feel like that's too much. So me and my fiance don't really bother uh, this coronavirus thing that's going on. And we don't really understand why people are panicking about it. We just wash our hands like a normal person would do. And sanitize our hands every time we go gro grocery shopping. So we're not doing anything like 
too different. We're just living like we usually would. Because, I mean, if you're younger and you're healthy, you have absolutely nothing to worry about. I mean, it's like getting a cold, but like more intense. Like, you, if you're healthy, you won't die from it. It's just a cold. And also, I understand that uh, older people... Uh, get sick from it like they uh, uh, get affected in a way that maybe we won't but like do you know how many people all the people die from the regular flu a lot of people die from that as well so the coronavirus isn't that different from that um I understand that people are panicking because everyone's talking about the coronavirus but I think what makes it so special is that it's happening like all over the world at once so that gives people like a panic that maybe they don't have when people get the flu or older people dying from the flu or you know stuff like that so I don't know I think people make the coronavirus worse than it is but I don't know maybe I'm wrong this is just something that I thought about <coughs> I also saw a video <laughs> it was this old lady and a rather young woman and the woman had um, she had like four or five packs of toilet paper already and she was fighting the old woman like she was tearing the toilet paper that the old woman had and I was like oh my god like how is this woman that sh she was like in her mid 40s maybe um, she already had four or five packs of toilet paper and she was fighting an old lady over the last uh, pack of toilet paper Oh, when I saw that video, I was like, oh my god, people are exaggerating. Like, you don't need to stockpile for months. Like, okay, if you go to the grocery store and you buy maybe a pack extra of the rice or a pack extra of the pasta or like one pack, not like five packs or ten packs more, like... That's too much. And also, <coughs> it's so irritating because that's all you hear on the news. Coronavirus this, coronavirus that. Like, is there serious, seriously nothing else to talk about in this world except coronavirus? Like, is that the the only thing that we can talk about and yeah I just feel a little bit irritated and that's why I'm bringing up with you guys
But let me know how do you feel about this. Am I too calm? Should I be worried? Or do I have the right approach? What approach do you have? Let me know. Because it's interesting to know how other people think. So maybe I'm thinking wrong and you know, it's good to share thoughts because it's been times when I've been certain uh, of feeling or thinking a certain way. But when I'm think uh, talking about the thing, I don't have an example right now, but whatever the thing is, when I talk about that thing with other people and I hear other people's thoughts about that, then I stop thinking for myself. Maybe that person's right. Like, maybe I'm wrong. But if I don't have anyone to, like, share my thoughts with, I'm, like, you know, stuck to my own thoughts. And that's it. And since my me and my fiancé are living together, we basically have the same thoughts and feelings about everything. <laughs> so we we agree on, <coughs> on most, most things. Like... Wow, this is really good. No, no, yeah. I thought I was gonna drop my onion, but I didn't. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pour. Let's see if I can move the rice to the middle. And let's put some more juice on there. It drips off like a volcano. That's so satisfying. <laughs> Did you guys know that um, my fiance um, creates all the beats that I'm using? Did you know that? If you didn't, now you know. And the reason why we do, do that is, first of all, he's really good at making beats. So he's not only an artist like writing his own music and stuff he also makes beats and um, he haven't haven't really used his beats so when we were scrolling through them uh, I was like maybe I could use his beats the beats that at least he wasn't going to use so we found the the beat that I have to my intro and the one for my cooking videos so I have like different beats for different kinds of uh, videos that I'm making. So that's really cool that I have like one beat to each like category of videos. And uh, so yeah, that's one of the reasons that um, we uh, agree to using his beats. But also, I know that I will be successful at YouTube. I know that, like I have no doubt. I believe in myself and I know that I will make it maybe I won't be like super super big but I know I'll be big enough to be satisfied you know so when that happens I'm prepared like I don't want to get my ass sued for using someone's beats or whatever it is like yeah also I uh, created my own intro because I was going through different sites and stuff and I came across 
this website. I don't remember the name of the website, but it was like pre-made intro. Um, and you could just like um, put your picture or whatever it was into that pre-made video. Um, I've seen a lot of people use that site because I was scrolling through the website and I recognize some intros that I've seen with the ones that was on the page and uh, at first at first I was like this is cool because um, I can just use one of these but then I thought to myself like maybe I shouldn't because maybe the person that made this will someday claim the rights you know so I was like no I'm not gonna do it but like I'm gonna take inspiration and I made a video on my own <coughs> I think it's um pretty easy to like get sued for copyrights and stuff like that so I'm to be honest I'm scared like I don't want to get uh, sued for any copyrights so that's why I stood away from that and I don't even know like how much you can have like can you have songs or like other video like youtube clips or can you have scenes from a movie like i don't know where the lines go so i'm not even like out there trying them because i feel like i need to do my research before like having those stuff on my channel Mm, I'm getting so full. These cucumbers are really good. You know something I've noticed? Since I'm not having English as like the main language, in the country where I'm living, it's hard for me to like be. I want to have perfect English when I'm talking, and because I'm not having English as my first language, it's hard. And um, I always like overthink when I'm speaking, and also like when I am talking, I think about like how I'm pronouncing stuff. And that that ju that just uh, confuses me because if I want to talk about something, and I'm at the same time thinking about how I'm pronouncing, uh, I always lose like my red thread, you know. And I al always get off uh, <laughs> the point I was going to make. So if I talk like gibberish and I never come to a point, <laughs> and like you know trying to say what I want to say like right now I'm overthinking again like I'm sorry <laughs> I, I, that's just how I am and <clears throat> it's something that I have to practice on so I I hope that you guys have patience with me and um, also uh, yeah I was going to come to the thing that I've noticed the thing that I've noticed is if I'm not overthinking when I when I'm talking I pronounce better and like I can talk freely and have my thoughts like in the right place but if I'm talking and thinking of how I'm pronouncing things I just sound confusing <laughs> so yeah that was the point I was going to, going to come to <laughs> so yeah um, 
that I, it was just something that I was thinking about earlier today so I thought I was going to share that with you guys um, <coughs> but also yeah I don't really have anyone to talk English with um, you know that that talks fluent you know with the pronouncement and everything it's just me and my fiance and when we talk we usually talk like this um, so yeah I do I do actually talk English with him like before videos and stuff like that just to get like uh, my tongue ready you know because in English you have to think about I don't know if this is true but this is just something that I I think it is this way um, I feel like you have to talk with your tongue like rather far back uh, that way it makes it easier to pronounce English words uh, in Swedish we talk pretty harsh and we have the tongue far in up front like we have it far uh, in front of our mouth so I feel like maybe that's why it's so hard for me to maybe sometimes pronounce stuff because you know of the differences that we have in our language so yeah in Sweden the main language is Swedish so yeah that's why but yeah you guys I don't think I'm gonna hold you on for very much longer so yeah without further ado I'm going to uh, say goodbye so goodbye I'll see you guys in the next video so don't forget to like comment share this video and become a subscriber and join the family okay <laughs> Okay, you guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!